This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good morning, my Real News Media TV family. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning, and I'm wishing for everyone a wonderful and a productive day. And in the news this morning, for May 13, 2023, man dies after bike collides with wall and utility pole. One man is dead after his motorcycle collided with a wall and utility pole on East Avenue in Kingston on Friday afternoon. Investigators assigned to the St. Andrew South Police Division are probing the circumstances surrounding the death of Dwayne White, a painter of Hagley Park Road. Reports from the Hunts Bay Police are that at about 1.20 p.m., White was riding a motorcycle on East Avenue when on reaching a section of the roadway, he lost the control of the motorcycle and collided with a wall and a utility pole. The police were alerted and on their arrival, White was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Higgler charged after cops recovered dozens of stolen cards in St. Catherine. A man was arrested and charged with the breaches of the Prada Larsney Act after dozens of stolen corn were recovered by the St. Catherine South Police on Thursday. Charged with Prada Larsney is Michael Taylor, a 35-year-old Higgler from Burke Road in Old Harbour in the parish. Taylor is expected to face the St. Catherine Parish Court next week. Reports are that around 2 a.m., police were on patrol in Old Harbour when they observed a man on a bicycle with a bag near a district called Colbeck. The man tried to elude the police but was pursued and held. The bag was searched and dozens of corn found. Taylor was detained. Further investigations were conducted and an additional 17 dozen corns were recovered. The police later identified the farm from where the corns were stolen. Superintendent Hopeton Nicholson, Operations Officer for St. Catherine South Division, said the police will be focusing on the retailers and end users who facilitate those who steal from farmers. We implore vendors, restaurant owners, and householders in general to always purchase food items and meats from legitimate sources. The St. Catherine South Police will continue to pursue those who want to reap what they didn't sow, Nicholson said. We encourage the general citizenry to report suspicious persons and activities to the police as we aim to reduce the incidence of predial larceny across the division. 19-year-old St. Catherine woman missing since January. The police are seeking the public's assistance in garnering information surrounding the disappearance of 19-year-old Larissa Whitfield of Portsmouth, Portmore St. Catherine, who has been missing since Monday, January 30. She is of brown complexion, medium build, and about 165 centimeters or 5 feet 5 inches tall. Reports from the Portmore police are that about 1 p.m., Whitfield was last seen at home wearing a white t-shirt and black pants. She has not been heard from since. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Larissa Whitfield is being asked to contact the Portmore Police at 876-989-8422, the Police 119 emergency number, or the nearest police station. Murders down 10 major crimes are recorded for April in St. Elizabeth says Police. Head of the St. Elizabeth Police Superintendent Kenneth Chin says that the seven murders committed since the start of the year in the parish is the lowest recorded over the comparative period for the past seven years. Chin, during his presentation at the St. Elizabeth Municipal Corporation's monthly meeting on Thursday, commended citizens for using amicable means to resolve disputes. As of the end of April, we have less lives lost in the parish than in 2022, which by any measure or any stretch of imagination, life is more important than everything else, he said. When we look at the figures for murders from 2017 to 2023, over that seven-year period, it is the lowest the murders have ever been in St. Elizabeth up to the end of April, and I continue to applaud the citizens of this parish for treating with their issues in a manner that doesn't result in violence and death, and also the efforts of the police on acting on information as they come to us added chin. He said in April, St. Elizabeth recorded 10 major crimes, two murders, three shootings, and five robberies. We also had two major successes and the seizure of one illegal firearm, he said. He said the police are examining motives into the two recent murders in Balaclava and the Vineyard. 
the first one in Balaclava police area at an entertainment event which was being held in the area. The victim, based on his profile, he has been in trouble with the law several times. At this stage, we don't know if his death was connected with his lottery scamming activities or other activities, but we know that based on his profile, he has a lot of persons who are not with him, said Chin. The second murder took place in the Black River Police area in the district of Vineyard, and this was a 62-year-old farmer. From investigations so far, two theories are there. Based on the interviews conducted, we have not yet received the statement to substantiate any of the theories, so the investigation is still open, he added. Chin said a suspect in a supermarket robbery in Santa Cruz who turned up at a hospital after reportedly accidentally shooting himself in his foot is being investigated for his alleged involvement in an attempted robbery and attack on Beryllium Money Courier in Boak Hill near Balaclava. He gave a statement which he said he was involved, but he is not committing that to a caution statement. Although he said he was involved, we don't have any proof that he was involved other than his word which he has not committed to writing, Chin explained. Man charged after off-duty cop foils attempted robbery along Olympic Way. The police have arrested and charged a man in relation to an attempted robbery of an establishment along Olympic Way in St. Andrew on Thursday. Charged with assault with intent to rob, shooting with intent, possession of a prohibited weapon, and unauthorized the possession of ammunition is 34-year-old Dave Clark, a laborer of Big Lane, Central Village, St. Catherine. His court date is being finalized. Reports from the Hunts Bay Police are that about 11.53 a.m., two armed men attempted to rob the establishment. An off-duty policeman saw what was happening and engaged the men. One man was apprehended and, according to the police, a Larsen 9mm pistol with a magazine containing seven 9mm rounds was seized. Clark was taken into custody and subsequently charged. St. Catherine Man Arrested by Sissoka A St. Catherine man has been taken into custody in relation to allegations of sexual contact with a female student at the school where he worked as a security guard. He was apprehended on Thursday by detectives assigned to the Center for Sexual Offenses and the Child Abuse during an intelligence-driven operation. He is being held on suspicion of having sexual intercourse with a person under the age of 16. Further investigation is being undertaken with a view to bringing formal charges against him. Police probing drug trafficking ring between Jamaica and UK. The news has been informed that the narcotics police and their UK counterparts are tracking a number of drug couriers sent to Jamaica to collect cocaine as part of an international drug trafficking network operating between Jamaica and the UK. Six of the suspected couriers have been arrested and more than 50 pounds of cocaine seized by the narcotics police over the last two weeks. Five of the couriers were nabbed at the Sanctuary International Airport attempting to smuggle cocaine with a street value of more than $100 million. A senior narcotics investigator told the news on Friday that the local police have detected the international ring. He said a number of couriers have been sent to the island by people who paid for their accommodation and booked them several flights out of Jamaica. He said the local police are making progress in the investigation. One of the Britons, 58-year-old David Anthony Thomas, was charged last week and was booked to appear before the St. James Parish Court on Friday. The narcotics police say 14 pounds of cocaine worth about 40 million Jamaican dollars was found in his luggage on May 3. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.